guys and welcome to another episode. So, we finished off last time with losing memory on my camera, so the files are gone. So the software for bugs is already done. But hang on, we're gonna do, we're gonna mail out the holes for the subwoofers and the box. And then we're gonna, I hope, we're gonna do some cool designs in uh, the cosmetics in front of the subwoofer box. So we're gonna do a front or a front, whatever you call it, with some cool designs. We're gonna mill it out in wood and we're gonna add some nice uh, fabric on it. For the new watchers, my name is Christian. I, I will my guest design. We do. Uh, cool stuff with cars, motorcycles, even trucks, you name it. We do interior, we do paint, we do everything. So if you like this content, please, after the video, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. It's gonna help me out and I want to deliver so much good content for you guys. And I want you to actually be able to learn all of my videos. I hope everyone out there has the courage to just try. You're gonna fail. You can fail 100 times. Just do it. That's how I did it. I didn't go to school to learn this. This was my hobby. I did 100 times of mistakes and here I am. Stick around and watch some cool content. actually the font is going to be in front of the subwoofer box uh, we're gonna have RGB lights behind it so then you can do radius uh, before you apply the skin material or the leather I mean uh, it's gonna be looking awesome the subwoofer box uh, all glued uh, all screwed uh, then we actually painted the uh, port black it's just to make sure that uh, when we put the fabric in there it's not gonna bleed through uh, with the wood uh, color and then we actually pre-drilled uh, the holes for the subwoofers uh, as you can see here and on the inside uh, we had silicone and we added polyester um, so the wood actually soaks the polyester in and uh, makes a nice and uh, even surface just to um, uh, make it easy for the air to flow uh, then we had to put some filler for the screw holes around the subwoofer box 
Now we're gonna scuff that down, make an even surface for the fabric that's uh, going onto the subwoofer box. Um, and that's the next step. So uh, now we're gonna prepare the uh, fabric. Uh, this is actually going onto the subwoofer box. Pre-pressed leather, uh, so it looks like uh, diamond stitching, uh, but it's really not. Just used the uh, cardboard to make templates. So uh, here we got the cut fabric. And these are going to be placed uh, on the inside of the port. We're actually going to glue them. The glue is a water-based glue from uh, 3M. I'm going to show you later. Uh, so you apply it uh, on both sides. So uh, on the uh, back side of the fabric and then uh, on the inside uh, in the port. And then you let it dry for almost 20 minutes. Or 30 minutes if you want to be sure. Then we can actually use um, a heat gun to uh, warm up the fabric and the glue and the activation is going to be much quicker. So uh, this is the uh, water-based uh, 3M uh, glue that we're going to use. So it's called Scotch Weld Contact ad uh, Adhesive. Correction uh, to the um, glue. Um, you should always read the instructions so it's actually uh, when you apply the, the glue it should uh, cure for 30 to 45 minutes uh, the color should change from blue to green and you can see that it's it's almost changing now to green I'm just waiting it to air dry and uh, then we're gonna apply the material again and heat it up Popped in the uh, subwoofer in the back and uh, the other panels. So on the right side you can actually see that I got the fitment pretty good. Uh, I'm talking about this area. And on the left side I'm not too happy. So I'm gonna put some uh, more filler on the sides. And uh, then we can actually proceed with uh, gluing the other material. It's gonna be more of a plain leather. I'm gonna show you later on. Uh, but so you get a contrast to the diamond stitching and it's also diamond stitching in here so it's gonna be a plexiglass with uh, some cool light and uh, also behind the frame as I showed you before that's gonna be uh, also with uh, RGB light. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm fixating the uh, fabric on uh, one of the pieces in the back and that's gonna be the floor. Yeah, yeah the easiest but it's quite tough in uh, these areas in the radius uh, to get it really nice but just with some heat and uh, a lot of patience uh, you can do this really good. I already done the um, font in the back looks like this I really think it looks sorry for swearing in awesome uh, <laughs> uh, so you got the contrast between the diamond stitching and the plain uh, fabric or uh, in this case uh, vinyl uh, I think it looks really good so now moving on I just wanted to show you how how I do it um, gonna put you on the toy pod and uh, yeah Let's go. Just making sure we have even with the material because you really want to get it on the back side too, uh, just to get it to stick really, really good. Um, and B, so if you feel anything like knobs or anything beneath, take it away. It's gonna be, you're gonna see it really, really bad. So when the, when the sun hits it, you're gonna see it. So try to get everything away. You can see I can actually take away uh, the fabric. Um, and then when I uh, put the heat gun onto it and really heat it up, I think it's gonna show pretty fast that it's gluing. It's beginning to stick.
So now the floor is finished. Uh, you can see a little bit in the time lapse. Uh, just heat gun and uh, patience, I would say, is the goal here. Um, I think it's important to actually wrap the fabric around the whole thing. Doesn't look super uh, clean on the back, but you're not gonna see it. But just so you like secure um, the fabric, uh, so it sits really strong there. You don't want it to loosen up when the sun hits the car and it heats up. Um, you can see here, not super nice, but you cannot see it from the outside. And that's the important thing. Just so you can get a picture of how it's gonna look later on, I'm gonna put the flooring in and the font, and not the sides. Uh, the sides are not finished yet. Flooring in, and now the font. That's gonna look sick. Wait a minute, I'm just gonna turn on the stereo and you're gonna see the light in, in the uh, in the floor. Oh, with plexiglass, this is gonna look awesome. Just gonna show you some details. So, the amp is uh, comes with cool lighting and then we have light. see in the time lapse uh, we've done the uh, brackets uh, to the tank uh, it's mounted on the tank and we're gonna mount the brackets uh, onto the back uh, back seat um, and we're gonna drill some holes and we're gonna put uh, rits in there so we can have uh, two m6 uh, bolts in each side so I'm gonna
perfect I'm changing who I am I'm making a new plan Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again You can't stop what's moving You can't stop what's moving I'm changing my life and I won't look back ever again the video and I noticed I haven't finished off the vlog. Um, the subwoofer or the audio install is finally finished and I actually think it looks really really cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to actually uh, post videos every Sunday and the mission is to actually do it the whole year. Uh, do you like this content? Please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you know buddies of yours that would appreciate this channel, please share it with them. And until next Sunday, bye bye. Hey do. Get up, stretch my legs. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up. I can smell the smoke from the bacon yum, yum, yum. Let's go See the sun shining from the windows yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay I know that today will be a good day no, no, no. Okay I know that today will be a good day